Well, hello everyone. How you all doing? I hope everyone is doing okay. And again, again, thank you very much for subs subscribing my new YouTube channel. And uh, tonight, what I'm gonna do is I will make a pandikuko. You know, pandikuko is very popular in our country. So I decided to make it tonight so that I can have something for tomorrow for my coffee in the morning. Okay, now let's go ahead and start. I already have here a pre proof of dough. I be this been propping for about 30 minutes to an hour. What I have in here, I got two cups of bread flour and then one half cup of milk, one fourth cup of melted butter, and three fourth cup of granulated sugar and a two teaspoon of dry yeast and one half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla and one whole egg so this is the result this is ready so what i'm gonna do is Need it, need have to need it some more for my biba. One minute, and then we have we have to divide this into four. There's my magic cutter. Okay, cut it in half, then cut it again on the middle. Then just roll it like a bowl, put it in one side, this is fun, making a bread is fun to be honest, and if you know how to make this bread, believe me, you don't want to buy any more bread, I've been, I think it's been about two years now that I don't, close to two years. That I don't buy bread since I know how to make it so okay I don't know if you can see me okay I got here a fresh coconut that I shredded myself and I mix it this is a fresh whole coconut I shredded it by hand. Oh no, actually, I used my, uh, what is this? A uh, blender. And uh, what I got in here is put some white egg, uh, no white, no white sugar with vanilla. So this is the result. Now let's go ahead and roll this and cut this into four again one the same thing with this Sorry. One. One more. This 
this is my own version of making my own candy uh, coco. So bear with me. What you're gonna do again is roll it again. Just roll it like that. How many times you gonna roll this, right? Many times. So I have here like, I think 18. It's a lot of bread, right? But it's okay. That won't spoil it. I think some of them I slice it small. So I need to That's all I've been doing is making bread today or tonight, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's about twelve. Twelve. I think some of these I cut it small, so. So now we gotta put our filling for our coconut I'm just using a tablespoon and scoop your coconut I like fresh coconut done those the one in the store desiccated what is that desiccated coconut the dry one Mm -mm, not good. It's not good. Oop, I miss up. Anyway. Wash my hands because my hands are sticky. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here. Oh, butter. Okay, let's do it again. Then you gotta roll it. Be sure it's sealed on the bottom or else that will leak. I should use my rolling pin, but anyway. Don't be stingy. Put some more of your coconut if you're the one who will eat. So just... Put more on it. And the more coconut filling inside, the better. And it tastes good. See, just roll that like that.
Actually, some people they will just make their coconut like a bowl, wrong like a meatball style, but I don't. Let's finish this up. Then we will rest this and let this probe again for another 30 minutes. And then we'll put this in the oven. And I will show you the finished product of my pandi coco. And I will put the description below of how to make this pandi coco recipe. Actually, this is only for our consumption anyway. My consumption, not because my husband won't eat this. So, that's the reason I put too much coconut on it because I like lots of coconut than not coconut. That's the reason they call pandi coco because you got coconut in the middle. Almost done. I think we'll just go ahead and finish this up. I got about five left. You can also use your rolling pin, but no. just use my hands. What's the use of these hands if you are not using it? Right.
Be sure it's tight and sealed. One. I still some got left over pandi cocoa of cocoa filling. Okay, here's my pandi coco. I will let you. I will let you see once it's done, and I will bake this. We have to probe this for another thirty minutes, thirty to an hour. An hour, then we will bake it around three hundred fifty degrees Celsius, about fifteen minutes. Because I have to. You have to preheat your oven. So this is it and thank you very much if you like this uh, recipe and video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button thank you very much bye bye